Hey everyone, I'm just going to put in my website real quick. I'm going to try out a, um, a Halloween look. And I'm not really all that good at doing like funky weird. Uh, I know a lot of people might assume that my thing is funky and weird because I guess what my everyday is funky and weird compared to conservative people. <laughs> but, um, but really I've never done a lot of weird, like, I mean, I would do like punk makeup, but that was still, I always sort of like looked like myself. So, um, I'm going to attempt, even though this was an ad for like another brand of makeup, I'm going to attempt this kind of like leopard kind of look and leopard kitty look that we often see in these filters but the thing is the thing to me is is that like i'm like why use a filter when we've got all these good products that we can do it ourselves and um half the time when they started with those funky filters i thought that people actually had done that makeup and not just like click and then oh they've got they've got they you know they 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 just did it with a filter but i'm going to attempt to do this um, I'm going to attempt to do this on my own. Um, I think I'm going to, I have, you know, of course I already have some existing makeup on, but I'm going to just, uh, just going to try and play around with this and see if I can do it because, you know, this is all about, you know, it's getting out of my comfort zone and, um, you know, just the fact that I've done makeup here, um, it's now been a year that I've been doing these lives and showing you guys like you've seen me without my makeup on, you've seen me with my rosacea, you've seen me when I've had acne, you've seen me with all these different things and um, so I thought well it's time to break out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Okay now I've just got to put some more stuff by this behind this phone just to get it stable here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now I've got a lot. I've got to be working to the side here because this is. I bought. I always have a short cord to charge my phone and a long cord to charge my phone. The long cord died, and I bought a super, super, super. Let me just tell you, I bought a super long phone cord at Staples. Well, it lasted four days, and then it was then it was lousy, and it now I'm back down to one short cord. So the phone can't not be on when I'm doing a lot, it can't not be plugged in because what happens is doing a live takes a lot of juice out of the phone. So anyway, um, so I'm going to attempt this and we're just going to see. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our magnificent splurge cream shadow to do like this kitty nose and mouth and, um, a whole bunch of our, uh, neutral palettes and as well as our dark dark purple and what else? our concealer and our you know mascara of course to get this like super super heavy lash look which is obvious that it's false eyelashes um even though it's an ad for another brand it's like it's so obvious that they use but i'm going to use our 3d fiber lashes plus and okay here's a powder and i may need our rose water to wet down some things to get these like kitty spots going so i'm going to be using this is number one with our um our palette our palette number addiction mood strike addiction palettes here and this is palette number four but i'm going to be using the neutrals of palette four so, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, as much as everybody loves these bangs, I'm going to get these bangs out of the way. Now, what I'm not going to do the leopard spots above because once my hair is down, you won't be able to see it. But I'm going to do more leopard spots on my face. So, this will be my first time. As much as I love leopard, I find leopard very hard to draw as an artist. Uh, just like if I'm drawing something, I find leopard very hard to draw. So uh, the fact that I'm going to do it with makeup is this is, you know, going to take me out of the box. So um, I'm going to like get this out of the way. I'm actually going to put a headband here. And the only thing about bangs that 
can be an issue is when you're trying to get your hair out of the way. Okay. So, hope everybody's having a good night. It's Patrick's birthday night. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the spots. And I'm going to start with the browns. I'm going to start with the browns, the brown parts of the spots, and the brown here. And then kind of build up around my eyes and then do some of these. And then do the darkest. So it looks like it's a mix of black and purple, black and purple around and dark brown. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do more of my brows, do my brows much, much heavier than, than what they are now, than realistic brows. So And then I'm gonna, it's gonna be, you know, this is taking me out of my box too. So this, these look like they're brown to me, dark brown. So I'm going to do the darkest brown, which is forthright in the palette one. And I've got this mirror here that I'll be, <laughs> I always try to keep, for something like this, I try to keep all my, what I'm gonna use just close by, so, and I've got this mirror, and I've got Kleenex, and I've got Q-tips right behind me, so, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've got lots of buildup from the course of the day. I mean, quite an eventful day, Patrick took it off for his birthday, and of all things, we had to take the car we had you know just errands we had a the key for the car had some issue and there was something else and we had all these things so okay this is our two-ended a brow artist brush it's got an angle at one end and a straight line at the other so i'm using forthright so and I'm going to do much heavier because this is Halloween makeup. Much heavier than I normally would do. And then I'm going to do some this other brow. I'm trying to make this look a little more like fur since we're doing a leopard. <laughs> Do these little cross hatching here. And then go with my little angle. Because we're doing some fun makeup tonight. Because this is what we're going for. Try something different. And this is really out of the box for me because I rarely, even if I wore costumes, I rarely would do my makeup to be like those costumes. Um, I would always do something that I would always have pretty makeup for. And a lot of it has to do with how I grew up. My dad didn't like scary stuff. If I dressed up as a ghost, I was Casper. Um, and I wore the Casper mask, you know, those plastic masks you could barely breathe out of. And, um, or I would be a bag lady, which I didn't really have to do much, but like wear old clothes. Or I would be like a princess, which, you know, I just was a little girl. Or I was, you know... Pretty much, I've never really done like this kind of, like I would do it for, like I said, I would do it for punk shows, but I wouldn't do it for like, um, I wouldn't dress up like an animal or something, you know. So, this is quite out of the box for me. I'm trying to make this like a little bit more like hairs. Just, just for fun to make it a little more realistic. 
But considering if you go on Instagram and you see all these like wild, weird eyebrow trends <laughs> that they're doing, it's just like outrageous. Okay, so, alrighty, so let's see, let's try, I'm going to get my, what kind of brush am I going to get? I think I'm going to get this little, little brush here, and my rose water, and I'm spraying the rose water on the brush. Now, this is the difference, you can see, I got this brush set. A year ago, look at how this is chipping off. The brush is still good, but, you know, it's still not. Now, I'm going to use from Palette 4, I'm using this Secretive, which for these light brown spots. I'm just trying to be kind of random. There's some are going to be small. <laughs> And some are going to be larger than others. This is really wild for me to even just to be doing this. If you had any idea of how wild this is for me, this is very out of the box for me because I have always thought that I'd always just do be doing like glamoury makeup, glamoury pretty makeup. So this is, um, and this can be glamorous. It's very glamorous. It's very, it's a like a cool hot look. It's just even seeing myself with the spots. This is this is um, this is a big deal. So. Hey Jackie, <laughs> I'm doing a Halloween, some Halloween makeup tonight, just for fun. Okay, I'm trying to do a little bit more down, a little more than what, what's in this picture. I'll do the other side here. But it's amazing. This, I mean, this is a bronze. It doesn't look like it'd be that dark, this secretive color. But because I wet it down, wet the brush down with the rose water. And, but it, it's nice because it has this metallic. And, um, and see some pieces I'm doing, some, some of the spots I'm doing smaller than others. And some spots I'm doing larger than others. But this is a big deal for me because this is really taking me out of my comfort zone <laughs> for me to do this kind of un, un glamour. I mean, it's still, like I said, it's still glamour, but it's just, it's just different. Once I, uh, it's more like character makeup, you know? And, you know, that's, um, I always, I have always done, and that's a little too, let me just mess that up a little bit, yeah. Um, you can see there's a shimmer, I don't know if you can see there's a shimmer, I'll just swatch it there. It's a pretty bronze shimmer, so it's sort of like a highlight. And I'm also going to do that up here to give that sauvage look. And one thing I noticed, I mean, like I had, I have done like theater makeup, um, or makeup like, but we would always be using like just basic cheapy, either it's like the cheapy Halloween makeup that you use, that you buy at like Party City, 
or, um, um, you know, just cheap colors, you know, just cheap brands. So the, I have this white pencil that I've had forever. I don't even know where, okay. The other day I was just playing around with this and this is like a wet, wet and wild. And I'm so used to our unique pencils. For one thing, the waxiness of that pencil. I mean, if this is an old pencil, I've had this about a year. For one thing, it smelled. It already had a bad, that bad, nasty makeup smell. But then it was like, I was so shocked that it had like this, like when I put it on, it was so waxy and just like so cheap. And just like ingredient wise, like it felt itchy on my skin. So to even to be doing like something like this, like a special effect makeup like this, that when you do it with using unique, it doesn't have like that itchiness that you get like if you're doing Halloween, if you're buying like cheap Halloween makeup. And I mean, it's crazy to think that, you know, like doing something like this is really showing the versatility of the products. But also, it's like, um, I'm also showing how, it, it, it's like, I'm not, I'm not, I always used to feel like when you smell that nasty, cheap makeup smell, um, it, and it's like when you're putting it on your skin, and then halfway through Halloween party or whatever, you're just like wishing you could just take it off because it's so itchy. This doesn't have that because this is all like mineral based. So anyway, I'm going to go to the Our Magnificent, and I'm going to attempt to do these little leopard spots around around here and let's see how well I do it because I'm in the I see they're kind of somewhere like curvy up and some are kind of like curvy down like there's the curve goes up and the curve goes down the curve goes up and the curve goes down so this is like very like like I said it's out of the box for me because I'm not this is great the shadow it's a cream shadow um, matte cream shadow and the, the cool thing about our matte cream shadows is that uh, they, you can use them as liners, you can use them as shadows, you can, okay, now I just covered up that spot, let's see, that's something I was afraid that I would do, and I'm not all that, just going to neaten that up, because these are very, very neatly drawn, so, but, you know, like I said, this is my first attempt at doing this so I see that this one kind of goes up and some of these are kind of like a circle or around like that and then some of these are like that mm. yeah a curve and then some are more just like like a little spot around <laughs> and but, you know, this really gives you ideas. So, you know, you can use our black pencil for this. You could use, like, this is, you could wet down. Um, our palette three, our rate. Uh, palette three has the rate color, which um, you can wet down the rose water to do this. Um, you know, all of our products are so versatile that you can, that you can do, that you can do all kinds of things with them. Oh, that's a little too, I don't want to make them be too neat, but at the same time, I don't want them to, be, to get muddy. So. So this is, you know, me doing something completely different. And, um. I feel like in something I should be in Star Trek or something. <laughs> Somebody from like an alien planet or something. <laughs> now all of you all know who who give me a hard time saying, you know, now we have an explanation for why Marilyn's so wild. So crazy. Yeah, this is uh Kind of mess that up a little bit. Some of these I'm gonna have to add a little more stuff to make it. But like I said, I've always had pro as much as I love leopard spots, I've always had problems creating them because of the randomness. 
of how they look. And I've, like I said, I've, I've always, always done beauty makeup. I've never done like this kind of like sci-fi special effect. Any, you can you now you can see because I was talking and I wasn't. But I can make that. Mm, starting to look a little catty. I'm being catty tonight. <laughs> okay, so now for the heavy liner part. I think I'm going to do more on this side and just get as much looking kitty catty looking. Just so. And this is a fierce. You could do a fierce liner here. I love to being able to just get that black on. Just get it on. All right, now this kind of goes down. This has almost almost like two. This has almost like two. Has one line. It goes this way, and then another line that goes underneath. And maybe I'll put more of this dark in here, just so that it'll match. Oh, it's starting to look fun now. <laughs> Are we getting some ideas for Halloween? <laughs> now, there are times where when I used to go to like punk shows, even I would just do like this eye like that. I wouldn't have any spots or anything. We would just like go to a go to a concert and have your hair all wet, wet, wild out and do some funky thing. And and you party a lot and then go to sleep and then in the morning or middle of the night, you wake up and go to the bathroom and you scare yourself because you forget that you've done all this wild stuff with makeup wise the night before. And then... I'm just going to make these leopards spots a little more, a little more intense here. It's fun to kind of see the process, you know? This isn't bad for my first time, but it's not as... So I think I, got, I went a little crazy. <laughs> I wanted to have more down here, so when I pull my bangs down, I'll have... But I think I did them a little too close together. And I did them too big, but... But you know what? It's it's Halloween, so you know what? It's fun. <laughs> For my first time trying this kind of thing, it's not too bad. I love how. Uh, this is my favorite part to just just get the black liner on there. Just get it on there. <laughs> Somehow this is supposed to look kitty esque. But when you've got wrinkles under your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I'm going to use the concealer for because I'm going to do yeah Put 
a little bit more in through here like I did on the other side. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen myself like this. <laughs> but it's fun, you know. And I think what this is, it's like you got to really get the whole, have the whole outfit on. <laughs> Once you get the whole outfit on, I haven't even done my nose or my mouth or any of that. I even done the purple yet. Just like a curve. That's something fun. See myself do something different. <laughs> okay, I want to get this side a little more cat esque. Have this, I'll make this come out a little bit more than they did. I think Monday night's kind of a chill night on here on Facebook. Here on Facebook Live, everybody's chill, huh? People are chilled out. Put some of this dark in here. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty wild, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. This is, this is like totally out of my comfort zone. Now I'm doing the, um, this is Rapturous, which is our purple. And I'm just, just digging, digging in. This is fairly new to me. I'm just like, I feel like doing a little bit of this. Just to blend this out. Yeah. I haven't even done mascara yet. <laughs> this is completely out of the box for me. <laughs> but you know what? This is all about being out of my comfort zone. Fading this out here like that. Now, they did this with this little thing like this. I think I'm going to go in with a little concealer on a brush and kind of either make that be a little bit more. I think maybe it's that, that it needs to have some more brown. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. It needs to have some brown in there. To make that. Isn't that funny how we all, when we're doing underneath here, we're always like, oh, put our. <laughs> you know, you gotta have fun. Yeah, that looks better, a little softer. So 
so that this part, the wing, is the key. I like that a little bit better than this, than this extra little tail. I think that's better for my eye. I just get rid of that. Just take my rose water. But you can see unique is so it's so intense. You make a mistake or you do want to try something different there. I think that's better. The good news is is you can layer, it's pliable. The products are so such good quality. products are such good quality that you can do different things and not be and not be stuck you know yeah I think that looks better so I still have the smoky kind of look Okay, I'm gonna make this a little more where it matches. Okay, so now for the now for the uh, real whoop, now for the real <laughs> drop something on the floor. Is there ever a time where I don't drop something on the floor? <laughs> All right, we gotta do some kitty whiskers, kitty nose. Okay, let's see, it's a straight line, and then it's a triangle. Now, hopefully the husband will not have fallen asleep out on the, um, out in the living room. So I can say, guess what, honey, I did a special birthday look. <laughs> I did a special birthday look for you. Oh, wait, maybe I just realized I didn't do these spots all the way. <laughs> it's going to take me forever to get this black stuff out of my pores. I may have to do a detox. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up right now with this. All right, we gotta do a little bit. Smoke this out a little bit so it looks more like fur. Even though they did, they did one line. But I'm thinking, I'll take this. And do some kitty whispers. <laughs> whiskers, whispers. <laughs> I know I have not been drinking. I just like, I'm goofy like this naturally. I'm goofy like this all the time. For those who know me, they people know me, for, uh, I know I'm this goofy all the time. So it's kind of funny that I've never actually done this kind of, this kind of makeup before. <laughs> who needs filters when you can do it yourself, you know?
<laughs> okay, so now coming down. And the best thing about our makeup is so it's so um, pliable. I mean, you can do so many different things with it, and it's okay to use. It's safe to use something that an eye makeup for the lips or the lips on the eyes, or it can go in any direction you want it to go. I feel like I should be singing songs from the musical Cats or something. Jellicle Cats, Jellicle Cats. Or Midnight, not a song, da 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 da. <laughs> if any of y'all know that music, music from those musical Cats, if you're a music musical geek. Uh Life was beautiful then. Oops, I got some on my chin. I kind of like this ombre. Instead of going totally, totally black, I kind of like this ombre effect. And the land, uh, da, da, da. I know what happiness was. I'm not warmed up, so. <laughs> hey, Linda. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Decided to do something wild tonight. It's the first time I've ever done makeup like this. Isn't that wild? That it's the first time I've ever done it. I'm ready for the show cats. <laughs> I am ready for the show cats. You can play it back to see. This is the first time I've ever, as much as I love wearing leopard, it's the first time I've ever drawn leopard spots on my face. So it was some a little better than others, but considering... Not bad for the first time. <laughs> Look, a new day has begun. <laughs> hey, Rocky, thanks for joining me. Doing some fun Halloween makeup here. Doing a little bit more fur here. Then I'll do the 3D fiber lashes. Well, cause why not? When I have some super lashes. So I didn't do as much on my forehead as I usually would. <laughs> I'm having deep analysis here. I can't even look at myself right now. I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> Who needs filters when you can do it yourself? Not a sound. Millennials who weren't around when the show cast was on the first time around would know the song, but. But unless unless they're musical geeks, <laughs> I just recently had to explain the whole lamplight reference. I was like, I want to hear this when I see a lamplight. It reminds me of the song Memory, and they're like, What? What? <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. So I'll do some three D fiber lashes plus. Where's my three D fiber lashes plus? Oh, here it is. Okay. Now, I already have some Epic on, but you can always start out with Epic, and then if you've got something big happening, you can 
you can pull the um you can pull out the you can pull out the uh how do we think of these earrings with this makeup <laughs> oh my teeth look so white i just have to wear black lipstick all the time maybe i'll do my hair more this way so you can see my spots Tease this up a little bit. Get out of the way. Okay. Transplanting gel. The 3D Fiber Lash System is gel fiber gel. <laughs> I feel so authority. I feel like so, so. I feel like I'm so, so full of authority right now. <laughs> but, um,. Gel fiber gel. So transplanting gel. There are two. There are three steps with two products. One is taller than the other. So and they come in a lovely pouch. It actually comes in a gift box, and you can keep them in the pouch so you can keep it separate from your other mascaras. So I'm putting the transplanting gel on top of the Epic that I had earlier. And you want to turn, you never pump. You can actually see how this is a fairly new tube because you can actually see through it. You always spin the, the mascara wand inside. You don't pump it because you don't want that. You don't want air getting in. Okay, so on the same eye, you take the fibers and then the fibers come out and they're always loose on the brush and you roll it on your hand and kind of get the excess off as well as you're rolling them the fibers back on so that they're on neatly on the tube and if your lashes are wet with a gel and now i'm only going mid lash to ends Mid lash to ends. But you can see already, you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. So, I'm gonna go through a lot of shine wipes tonight. <laughs> Getting all this off. And then you go back over it with a transplanting gel. Now, if you want more separation, you see, that's much, much different. If you want more separation, you can use the lash comb. We sell the lash combs on my website. So lash combs and separators, as well as you can go back to use the Epic one step. And the Epic is fabulous at separating and then you do underneath wow my eyes look so blue greenish blue <laughs> oh my kitty ears are somewhere i don't even know where they are i've got to, i've got a pair of kitty ears so all right so now to the other side gel And then look at how long those lashes are. I have, there's no need for false eyelashes on Halloween when you've got the 3D, when you've got the 3D fiber lashes plus, there's no need. I have a whole drawer full of false eyelashes I used to wear. And I have not touched those things in a year. Can you imagine? <laughs> cracking myself up right now anytime I see something that's like authoritative or knowledgeable and then I look at myself looking like this I'm cracking myself up okay gel then Fibers, roll the fibers. Hey, <laughs> 
That's actually a very inspirational song. I actually got a lot of inspiration in that song. I can dream of a new life and I mustn't give in. When the dawn comes, what happiness is. Let me tell you, that song is one of the songs that got me through high school. As much as I really wasn't as fan as the show cats, the show cats I actually kind of like walked out of like halfway through. It was like, what is this about? Yeah, it's about cats, but it was like, what's the plot? What's this? It was like, but it was a big deal at the time because they, that was like the first time they actually did a whole lot of the facial makeup like this on stage and in movies and stuff. And then from then on, they started doing more and more. It also got like the wild hair. I mean, because they'd always had wild hair for a few years before that, but then it kind of like mainstream big hair and mainstream a lot of that stuff. So, okay, so let me see. Can I find my cat ears somewhere? I don't know where they are, but <laughs> I'll make my hair really well. <laughs> now, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this, um, okay, now the phone is charged up enough, so I'm going to try to go and surprise you get to see Patrick's reaction. <laughs> hey, honey. Yeah. You want to see my new look for fall? No. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first attempt mm -hmm. at doing leopard spots. Cool. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just chilling out on the couch on his birthday night. <laughs> but, oh, it's good, different in different lighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taking inspiration from that uh, magazine. Yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. Look at how white my teeth look. Isn't that well? <laughs> no. <laughs> it actually like it looked like so much in there, but in here it's like it's all <laughs> it's almost like kind of normal. <laughs> well, not normal for me. <laughs> okay. So I'm ready to go out. There's nothing happening. It's only it's only the twenty third. And uh so uh, this is so funny. This is not a filter. This is this was all my uh my art tonight. So a lot of it's doing the fur. I did that different. I did a couple things different from this picture. This was my guide. And I decided I had started on the eyes with that little curvy thing, but I decided against it because when you have a few wrinkles under here, if you have an extra line there, it just kind of like seeps in and um, seeps in and you don't want it to do that. So let me see, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. Just clean it up. But considering this is my first time doing something like this and then I made oh yeah then I made this look a little more like hair this little and I blended this instead of it just being a small line and small little kitty things uh, whiskers that's it <laughs> whiskers <laughs> kitty things <laughs> um, but anyway so I hope you all enjoyed this video and um, yeah, so uh, let me know if you want to see something different or if you try and attempt something like this, if you see that I'm doing it and maybe you get uh, ins creatively inspired. All the products I used are uh, on my website, you know, bebagirlbeauty.com. Um, this is a great, um, to work for Unique is a great extra source of income. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe I actually did this. This is 
this is something I've never ever would have uh, attempted before. So, you know, it's the first time for everything. You you know, <laughs> fifty two years old, first time doing this kind of wild stuff. So, um, I've always, like I said, I always used to do my eyes, or I used to do. Um, I, I never really did stuff where it wasn't like a hundred percent like. Um, uh, you know, it was always like a glamour. So this, so it's so a little bit of glamour to it, but, um, but I never would have done this before. So, um, so this is fun. <laughs> so let me know if you want to see something else or if you see a picture or something and you want to, maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'm like a little, I'm kind of over the hump now of, of being afraid of doing this. I mean, to just to do something that I've never done before on live video, um, that in and of itself was pretty wild, uh, was like a big deal for me, but I'm, I'm so used to this now. I'm used to you guys, uh, watching me. And if I kind of screw up as I go along, I'm, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> and, uh, it actually, you know, turned out much better than I, than I thought. So anyway, I hope you all have a good night and, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.